All right. So there we are. You, you, you know that. You know that. Now, books I've read, books I've written, sermons I've heard, sermons I've preached, from this point forward, talk about the curse that God put on the man and the curse that God put on the woman. And I want to show you something tonight. If, you, if you'll let me, if God will help me and you'll let me, I'm going to show you something tonight that will thrill your soul. It thrilled mine when I saw this. Look at verse number 15, or 16, I'm sorry. Under the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. You know what a fallen, a, a fallen woman hears? When you read that verse, you know what she hears? Sorrow, yeah. sorrow, and a man telling me what to do. Now, now listen to me, listen to me. God made this woman to have babies. Is that right? We read that. Listen, God made this woman to have babies. And God told that woman, the day you eat that fruit, you'll surely die. And God showed up and said to that woman, if you will let me help you, you will have babies. Do you see what you just read? If you will let me help you, you will live and not die. And you will have babies like I intended you to have babies. I can't, I cannot spare you from the sorrow you've brought about upon yourself. I cannot spare you from the tears you have brought upon yourself. But if you'll let me help you, this is not the end of your life. This is not the end of your purpose. This is not the end of what I intended to do with you when I made you. If you'll just let me help you. Now, isn't that better than dying? Isn't that better than an angry God just showing up and kicking her brains in? What about that desire of the mountain? I'll tell you what about it. That devil hasn't changed. Has that devil changed? Now, the serpent was. That devil hasn't changed. Hear me, hear me. Did God tell you not to do something today and something inside you said, I want to? Did God tell you to do something today and something inside you said, I, I'm not going to? Come on, be, be honest, be honest. Ladies, you know what God did? The day, I, I, I'm going to tell you something. The day you were born, God put a daddy between you and the devil. Until the day when that daddy would put your hand in the hand of a man that would stand between you and the devil. And when your daddy was dead and buried and your husband was dead and buried, God told that pastor to stand and put that church between the widow and the devil. God, in the day that woman sinned, designed her protection from the day she was born till the day she died. God has a bad press agent. We have not represented him well. He did not come to kill her. He did not come to dash all her hopes. He did not come to destroy her future. He came to offer her the best that could possibly be now that you have sinned. What a merciful God. What a gracious God. What a kind and loving God. Eve, I, I gotta kill you, but I got a way you can live. Eve, I, you you can't ever have babies, but I got a way you can have children. And Eve, I I, I I can't put the devil in the pit yet, but I can give you a threefold line of defense to keep him from getting out. Now let me tell you something about that sorrow. Read it again. Read it again. Look at this verse, verse number 16. Uncle Lord, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow shalt thou bring forth children. Please, please do not, do not get angry with me. Do not get offended. Let me finish what I'm about to say. 
You live in a society today where women have been convinced you don't need a husband to have babies. You know what I'm saying? And so we have millions and millions and millions of women with babies and no husbands. And Hollywood, the more you watch it, the more perverted your mind becomes because they glorify the single mother and never glorify the married mother. Right, not one time. Find me a Disney movie with a father and a mother raising children. Disney hasn't have got perverted in the last 10 years. They've been perverts from the start. They don't like that family. They don't like God's order. Now listen, this is what I'm about to tell you. So you've got a nation full of women bringing children into the world without a husband, no father to protect the children, no husband to protect the mother. And they're, listen, they're going to shrinks and gurus instead of churches and preachers. And you've never had the depression, the despair, the drugs, the pills, the psychiatric problems. You've never had it like you have in this nation today. You know why? Because God said, I'll give you a daddy, I'll give you a husband, I'll give you a church, I'll give you my grace, and it'll minimize the sorrow. It'll minimize the tears. But a reprobate nation says, I don't want God. And God said, we'll just have the medication. I don't want God. Then you'll just have to dope yourself to sleep every night. I don't want God. Then you have to cut yourself and take pills and end your life. And dare I say, murder your babies because you can't bear life with a child. You know what God did for that woman in that garden? He came to a woman that had been deceived by the devil and sinned and fallen. And God came and said, if you'll let me, if you'll let me, I can't undo what you've done to yourself. But I can make it as good as it can possibly be for the rest of your life. What a God. And ladies, if you've been deceived by that television, if you've been deceived by this society, you've been deceived by that social media into thinking what God said in that verse is against you. What God said in that verse is to keep him from having to kill you. It is grace. It is not law. It is mercy. It is not hatred. Verse number, verse number, seven.